going on, y'all? And good morning. This is Al, aka okay, Fishing with Big Al. And been up since 3 o'clock this morning, starting off early. Uh, went outside, checked it out. Stars were out. Uh, wind conditions were low. And it looks like a good day for fishing. It's a Saturday. So hopefully it's a Saturday. It's the weekend. All the Warriors going to be down from San Antonio, Houston, Austin, um, just all over, man, from Texas, just coming down this way to fish. Everybody loves coming down to Corpus Christi and fish on the weekend. It gets pretty hectic. So with that said, what my plan is this morning. Well, first off, let me do it like this. I want to give a shout out to uh, two people that are special in my life when I was coming up. It's actually three. It's actually more than that. But I'm saying on the fishing game, it's going to be my father. Rest in peace. Uh, went up to went up to heaven in 2010. Uh, so miss your dad. Uh, the other one is his brother, my uncle, uh, Phil, who uh, connects with me from time to time. So I want to give a shout out to this dude, man. He used to, with my father, would be working on my father just in, you know, if he wasn't into the mood as far as night fishing, things like that. My uncle Phil was the one that used to always come and grab us up, call us up. Hey, I'm going fishing. If you want to go, I'm going. Um, I'll be over to pick you up in a little bit if you want to go. And then we were over at my grandmother's house, rest in peace at this time. We would just pile up in the car and ride out. So that was a no-brainer then. And, man, we used to fish the fresh waters of the uh, Mississippi River. And we're talking about uh, cats, sturgeon, freshwater perch, uh, sogging, some other fish, too, I can name. Uh, but pretty much in the lakes, we did mud cats. We did a fish called grinnell back then at that time, and we used to be a lot of fun. Oh, just also Mr. Parker, rest in peace, next door neighbor. This was another guy who used to take us fishing a lot. And he, th these were the guys that kept us off the streets, put it that way. And in my time frame, <coughs> I wasn't into the streets anyway. My friends and us, we basically just played normal teenage, well, children, <coughs> excuse me, and teenage lives we rode bikes we played football in the fields we played baseball things like that and this was in st louis so we had an upbringing that the, when they say um it takes a um what's the word i'm looking for it takes a well anyway what i'm trying to say is we had all the grown-ups in our neighborhood that took care of us as kids right they raised us up my mother was my friend's mother his mother was my mother, and so on. That's how it was. So coming up, these were the ones that made sure that we stayed in the right path to, to protect us, to guide us, and things like that. And we did something wrong, we got handled. So it was like that, right? So grew up in that time frame. So nothing to complain about at that time. But anyway, just moving on, give another shout out to the people that I run across that are my subscribers right and people i run across in general in life period give a shout out if you see my videos if you know me give a shout out to you but yeah my shout out goes to my subscribers i've met a lot of people in my passing when i'm going up on the jetties or if i'm at the surf people will blow their horn and say oh big al something like that i see your videos man good job stuff like that so i appreciate it man i'm trying to uh, connect and keep it going do some teaching as well uh to help those that want to learn how to fish um the videos are there. There's a lot of great content out there by others, other videos as well. Check out some of the other guys that do it and get and get into it. Um, and you can learn a lot. And then you can also teach some people what we may not know. So it's a lot of things. Sometimes I run across fishermen all the time and they got a technique that I've never seen before and it works for them. So I, I you know, share the sugar. That's how we do it. And just enjoy it. <clears throat> but what the plan is, so far it's this morning is to try to go target um flounder i love targeting my fish so flounder is first up and um so i'm gonna i'm gonna get out there to the surf and i got my light ready to go so i'll be walking along the edges of the water trying to run into um some uh mullet finger mullet hopefully i don't want the big ones i just want the nice finger mullets for the for the uh, flounder and then go stand by the wall or if it gets too crowded go find another hole to go fish in flounder gonna be everywhere um it's not a lot of it's a lot of places but it's not a lot of places you know what i'm saying so you gotta know where to go as far as being able to hook into them and they're around um i've seen them caught in some of the some of the surprising places even on the jetties i've seen them caught in places where you wouldn't even think they would be at and i've seen people cast out far 
and had a flounder on the end of their rod. So they're around. You just, you know, if you get lucky when you cast out far, that's, you You know, you can you can hit into a big one. But the majority of the time, they're usually along the edges of the rocks, and that's where you can find them at. Um, as far as your rig, probably go with a Carolina. will be your best setup. Uh, do a Carolina and put like a two or maybe... Even a, yeah, put a two. I would say, say a two. A three would still work, but I would say a two is perfect. Uh, use the size two, either J hook. You can use a uh, kale if you want for uh, the ones that you use for croaker. I've seen people use those. I just usually go with a circle two and try it that way, and it usually works. Um, also, if you throw a lures, you can throw the uh, gulps, uh, shrimp. You can use a ghost. I mean, uh, yeah, the ghost color um, with the chartreuse tail on it. Or you can use the penny, but keep in mind, penny grabs a lot of different fish. It's just, um, for some reason, that color grabs a lot of pin fish, and they get towed up before you know it, and you lose those gulps. So I don't really mess with them too much. I like using the white with the chartreuse tail, and pretty much it keeps those pin, pin, pin fish off me and stuff like that. So that is the plan to start out. After that, plan on trying to either go down at the end, if it's able to do it it's a weekend so i don't think it's gonna happen because there's gonna be too many people down there but it is black drum black drum may be running as well so if i can get into the black drum if it's an opening i go for it if it's not then i change it up then i'm going straight for the pompano so that'd be the plan get some pompano um after i do that if i'm not tired then I got my other rod that I'm going to take with me with a spoon and I'm going to walk the surf and I'm just going to walk up and down and I'm going to be trying to target uh, Spanish Mac. If you don't have Spanish Mac on your recipe menu list for saltwater fish, you're missing out. Spanish Mac is like one of the best tasting fish you can have. Um, I like to fry mine in Cajun, uh, Louisiana Cajun seasoning, uh, fried and, and, you know, just fried. And that seasoning keeps the fish firm for some reason it doesn't somebody asked me does it get more uh, mushy somebody said that it's get mushy so I, I didn't really get into the conversation of asking them well what do you use for your seasoning uh but i'm sure if i would have they they probably don't use that they probably a lot of people go with like salt and pepper and stuff like that and you know without a coating i guess that can make the fish mushy but when i coat it it usually keeps it firm and that tastes good to me so i have no problem with that um but that, but that is the plan. So we're talking about flounder first, black drum of pompano, and then ending and finish, wrapping it up with uh, Spanish Max. That is what I'm going for. Notice I didn't say red. Red drums can be caught anytime. So that's a no-brainer. I'm not worrying about that. I'm not into the red drums that much anyway. Red drum is not like one of my favorite fish. I catch them. If they're slot size, I take them home. But it's not a big deal to me if I don't if I don't catch them or if I don't eat them or something like that. All the other fish, I love eating that. So that is my first take. Redfish is always at the bottom. For some reason, it just is. It just, it just doesn't grab me the way it grabs other people. So anyway, with that said, man, um, it's going to be a fun day. Get out there and get to it. If you're going fishing, be safe. Enjoy. Um, respect one another while you're out there, man. Don't don't make it a big issue. Somebody cross your line and all that. You're on the jetties or wherever you're fishing. If you're fishing the jetties, you might, then you might as well just look for it. It's going to happen. People are going to cross lines. Don't make a big deal about it. Just unloosen the lines, untighten them, cut them, whatever you got to do, and then reset it. Then go back and enjoy your day. That's the best way of handling it. So anyway, like I always say, man, it's fish on, baby. Enjoy your lane. And um, whatever that lane is you're riding in, if it's not bothering anybody else, and it's safe for you, it ain't causing no problems, no headaches, no worries, nobody got to be stressed about anything, then do what you do. That's what I'm doing, man, enjoying life because we only got one to live, so you might as well enjoy it the best way you can. Uh, with that said, y'all know how I do it. It's Fish Your Own, baby, and uh, I got some stuff that I'll show you real quick as well, so walk with me. All right, y'all, so yeah, this today is Saturday, so it's going to be a good one today. Um, pretty much going to be getting in where I fit in at. It's going to be a lot of traffic. I know this already, so it's going to be one of those days where you're going to have to ride up and down beaches probably. You're going to have, if you go to the jetty, you're going to have to find you a spot and go for it. Uh, what my plan is this morning is to go out into the surf, uh, get some mullet, like I said, and um, try to go for flounder. But also added to the bunch is going to be I got some fish bites ready to go. I got some spoons ready to go because this is going to be a Spanish Mac day as well. 
depending on how I feel, man, I can say before the mall is where my energy is starts getting drained where I feel like, hey, you know what, I'm getting tired. But yeah, it's going to be one of them days. So we got the spoons right here. These are your worn out sea strikers. We're going to be using those for that. Also, I got some gotcha plugs that I'm going to test. And these are something we used to use down in Florida for uh, Spanish Mac. And these, we used to wear some Mac, some Spanish Mac out with these. Um, I don't I don't know how well they work down here. I really haven't seen too many people use it I seen one guy with them the other day And I don't know if he did anything if he tried it or not, but he had them So I'm sure he's uh, caught fish with these before because they do work for the Spanish Mac uh, I just don't know if they do that down here. Also when they found some one ounce uh, size ones um, uh, Which are octopus circle hooks these gonna be good for the for the pompano today. Uh, if I get into the pompano area, that is where the sand flea comes in as well. Also, when it got me another net. Uh, if I if anybody asks what kind of net is the best, man, it's always gonna be your cast net lead. These sink a lot faster. Uh, you can get these out through the wind if it's windy conditions because of the lead weight. You can actually cast these and get more into it, and you're ready to go um, as far as getting onto your fish. I mean, getting onto your bait without those uh, other weights they put at the bottom are too light. Those were the ones I remember when I first threw a cast net. I thought that, I just grabbed the cast net. I just went and bought it for the price. And I remember I was not enjoying it. I was throwing it on top of fish and it did not sink fast enough. So somebody schooled me on that back in the early 2000s. So I've been throwing lead weights uh, nets ever since then. And these get the job done a lot better, a lot quicker. Uh, you can get those at Roy's. Also got my Power Pro. So we got the 50 pound test ready to uh, re-spool a couple of reels that I got to put some more line on because it's getting low. So I got some more of that Power Pro 50 pound test braided. It's the best. Uh, also, these were on sale up at Roy's. Roy's got a 50 year anniversary, man, going on sale. And this did not mark, but when they uh, checked them out, they was on sale. So I got these for uh, 90 a piece. Regular price is 118 and I saved some money. So I just said, let me get two while you guys got them on sale because these are good reels. Um, to have in your arsenal when you're going out surf fishing. So I got that's what I got the line for to put the line on these and also got another one I need to restrain. So it's three, three, three braided and those are three, 300 yards. So these can handle 50 pound test. So we should be good. And that's pretty much it, man. Be ready to go. Um, so I know now get ready to go eat. I got some breakfast. So I got my eggs, my rice. If y'all not up on that rice game, man, when it comes to breakfast, I don't know how many people do it. I know people like grits. If you like grits, rice is okay too because I'm not really too much of a grit person, but I grew up with the rice. So basically, so it's going to be some rice, bacon, and eggs, uh, juice on the side, and uh, get ready to start this day. So anyway, man, for everybody that's going out there to have fun today, fishing, enjoy it with your family, enjoy it with yourself, enjoy it however you're doing it, but whatever you do, man, enjoy it. Like I said, you only got one lane to ride in. If this is something you like doing, Go for it. Have a lot of fun with it, man, because that's what I'm doing. So anyway, man, this is Al, and I'm out. Y'all be cool. Peace.